Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split City DIY, and about two months ago, I started using a scroll saw. Uh, now, a scroll saw, it's recommended that you mount it to something, either your workbench or a piece of wood or something like that to really stabilize it. Uh, I thought I could get away with using it without doing that, but I realized in looking at some footage uh, that I shot while using it that it was really jumping around all over the place, and that was really uh, concerning. Uh, so I made it a priority uh, to mount it to a piece of plywood. With the pandemic, people are really struggling right now. If you're one of the lucky ones, consider donating items, money, or food to your community's food banks, shelters, or other local programs. If you aren't sure where to start, resources will be down in the description. So I started with a 2x2 two two piece of plywood, a 3 quarter inch thick, uh, and I just placed the scroll saw onto the piece of wood, uh, made sure it was kind of centered, and then used a pencil to trace it and also mark where the mounting holes were with pencil so I'd be able to reference it later. Uh, and then I cut down the piece of wood uh, with a jigsaw uh, so that would be the right size. I really like using this track with the jigsaw, I get some really straight cuts. Uh, and then I 3D printed these jigs to uh, cut rounded corners, um, just traced it onto the wood and then again used the jigsaw to cut the corners. Now they look a little rough and that's okay. Uh, you can clean up really easily with sanding. Uh, that's what I did in a little bit. But I've been really into uh, practical 3D prints lately for woodworking. There's a lot of cool designs out there. And then I just drilled the holes uh, that I had marked with the pencil. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it now is so that I could uh, have them drilled before I sanded because when you sand, the pencil holes are obviously going to go away. So here's just how it looks before sanding, uh, just looking at the corners there, and also the pencil outlines the drilled out holes. I also really like the grain on this piece of plywood, like it, it's really pretty. So then came sanding. Uh, I have a palm sander I like to use. I started with 120 grit, uh, and you can see it rounded those corners off super fast. Uh, and then after the 120, I switched to 220 uh, to get that nice, um, really, really smooth finish but it was really impressive how it, it just rounded out the corners really nicely. Now I could have stopped here, however, I also wanted handles on this thing. One in the front, which I'm drawing in right now, and also two on each, one on each side. Uh, and the method I looked up for uh, doing that is to kind of draw the length of the handle that you want and then drill out two holes. Uh, and then, after you drill out the two holes, uh, you just draw a line between the two of them and cut it with the jigsaw. And you'll see here, cutting with the jigsaw, just cut it on either side, and then you have a, like a really nicely cut out handle. Also really easy to do. Uh, I mean, it, it probably looks harder uh, than it is, but once you see that that's all it is, very simple. Uh, so here I am just doing it on the other side. My drill's battery was dying a little bit at this point, so that's why I'm not just kind of cutting all the way through really fast. But it's okay, we got through it. The reason why I wanted handles was so that I could move the saw really easily. The saw is kind of heavy, but not too bad. You can move around uh, like okay on its own, but having the handles will just make it easier if I need to move it off the bench or if I just need to pull it over a little bit. Uh, having it on the front uh, means so it'd be nice and accessible and the sides more for like if I really needed to carry it. Uh, and then I also wanted the handles to be rounded, so here I'm using a Dremel with a Dremel router bit on it, and I just went around the insides of each of the handles on both sides so that you get this nice, rounded, ergonomic handle. Uh, this is the first time I was using the Dremel like this, and I was really impressed. Uh, I can't wait to use it as a router more often. Uh, and you can see here is uh, how it looks after another round of sanding just looks, I think, really nice. I mean, some of my handles aren't like perfectly straight, but considering it's the first time I was doing that and everything, I was I was really pleased. And then after that, time for the stain. Uh, you probably look at this like, what is happening? Uh, this is blue tinted stain uh, Minwax. It's water-based. Uh, you get it mixed at the paint counter uh, and they have a bunch of colors. I wanted to experiment with this because I'd heard about it. Dave Pachuto did a video talking about it. so. I thought this was a great <laughs> project to do it on since it's just a board that I'm mounting the saw to. I really like how it looks. Um, I, I just think it's so pretty. You still get the wood grain, but you get this like nice color on it too. I mean, I, I'm really into it. Uh, and so then next was to uh, drill in some screws uh, to poke through from the back. 
uh, that the scroll saw could sit on. So here's the screws I'll put in, and then I just was able to place the scroll saw right on top because I did those nice pencil markings before, and then just putting a nut onto the screws so that it'll be nice and secured. Um, and here it is, all set. I'm very happy with this, very excited to use it like this. Uh, then I'll be able to use some clamps to mount it to uh, my wood surface. You see one of the screws is longer than the other one, that's because I didn't notice I picked up the wrong length at the hardware store. Uh, that's what you get when you're rushing uh, to get in and out of the store kind of quickly during COVID. Uh, but yeah, really happy with this um, from the handles to the finish to also just, I didn't have anything written down or anything. I just kind of had it in my head, traced the saw outline and went from there. Uh, so excited to do more stuff like this. Um, and I hope that maybe this will show you uh, it's not too hard and uh, maybe try out that stain and other stain techniques. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, this is from Blitz City DIY.